Okay, one thing that I missed on the previous video um, that just came to mind was I forgot to set the permissions on the file afterwards. So I'm going to set now the owner to root, as we can see on the screen. And I'm then going to quickly set the permission on the file as well, so that it cannot be accessed. now. At this point, we need to start restarting the services to make sure that they take um, the new configuration that we've done on the files. Because at the moment, they're running with potentially the old values. So we're going to do a refresh by just simply restarting them. So I'll just do a system, uh, CTR, restart, NPT, SMBD, and NMBD. So that's going to restart. We're now going to tell, uh, we, uh, in this case, the Linux machine, what credentials we're going to use for joining. So we are going to say, uh, and we are going to say that we're administrator. And as you'll see, I get prompted for a password but from the domain. So this is not a Linux account. We're telling it that we're going to use the domain account. So we have the at lab.local. I'm being prompted for a password, which I've now entered the password. We're now going to tell it that we're going to join. So we're going to do a sudo uh, net ads join dash k and dash s. Now I'm going to use the dash s because I want to tell it that I'm going to use dom dot lab dot local as my DNS server because you sometimes get errors if it tries to use another DNS server. So we have joined the domain. Um, it was telling me that it can't update a DNS file because I haven't created a DNS file in Active Directory for this server. So it wasn't able to update it. So I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to quickly create one. So I'm going to go to my Windows machine. I'm going to log in. And I'm going to create a new entry. And I'm going to give it the IP. Allow authenticated users to update. And well, I don't actually have the host bit. Here we go. That is now there. And if I refresh the machine account, we can see that that is still there. So we just have this DNS issue. Now, this can be because of our local host file. So I'm just going to check what it says in there. And yeah, it could be this. Here we go. So. save that, write that to file, run again, and there we go. So we've managed to update the domain record as well. Now we're going to start the service with the SSSD. sudo system so start the SSD and we can see service is started and that's it we're done we now have a machine which is connected to the Windows domain we can see we have entries I can refresh you can see this is a static entry this is a machine one I can 
we should be able to actually delete this and recreate using that previous command again. Because it was actually the host record. And yep, see, there we are. All done. We have our Linux machine on a Windows domain. So next we are going to proceed with our SQL installation.